hello. How are we? Happy Tuesday. All right, yeah, Tuesday. Hope everybody's having a good day so far. We're gonna jump on here and we're gonna test out some new products. Well, they're not new to farm. They might not be new to pharmacy, but they're new to me. So, you jump on, say hey. If you are watching this live, and the little red live buttons up there, um, leave me a heart emoji. And if you are catching this later, leave me um, a shoe. Leave me a shoe emoji. Um, I'm gonna get my music going. I meant to have this going before. So if you're on, say hey. Happy Tuesday. We'll be getting ready together. So we have been, Jordan had to work last night. He got home this morning about 9.30. Um, and he immediately started mowing and I have vacuumed and mopped and cleaned the kitchen. And Aerie is napping. Got messy hair going on. Went to bed with it wet last night. Come on, play. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna, I've already washed my face. I used the Calendula soap bar that I got um, with my Calendula bag set, um, which is also one of the holiday releases. Um, so I washed my face with it. And then um, I spot treated with the tea tree serum on a couple of my acne places. Um, I let that dry in the air, put my hair up, and then um, I used my Calendula face cream as a moisturizer. And I've let that sit for probably about five or seven minutes. And now I'm on here talking with you guys. So um, I tried this the other day and let me know if my music's too loud because I feel like it's a little overbearing. Um, this is a sample pack and it's the BB cream, which is like a beauty balm, not necessarily a foundation. Um, but my face does have a little bit of redness and some imperfections going on. So I want to use this to show you guys that this does work really well. Um, if you don't have like a lot of acne scars or acne or, um, like a ton of redness, um, then the BB cream would be perfect for you. And this is for like all skin types. Um, so I'm gonna put mine on with a brush today. I have actually gotten a little bit better um, with putting mine on with a brush. So I just wanna, I don't have anything on my face except some moisturizer. Um, a lot of people use the BB cream like kind of like a concealer, these curls. Um, they put it on first and let it sit and then they'll put on a foundation. Um, I don't need all of that coverage and all I'm doing is running to town and running to pick up my Tupperware that I have forgot at a friend's house for a while. So you can see how like right here is where I stopped and no it's not full coverage um, but it's enough coverage for me. So, what are you guys doing today? Happy Tuesday. And I do put my foundation or whatever I'm using um, up on my eyes so that it does have, so you can see I have not done my nose. And you can see, and the BB cream is buildable. Oops, I got some on my vanity. It is important to have clean makeup brushes, but at the same time, like, I feel like it goes on so much better after it's got a little bit of product on it. So my normal go-to every day is probably my CC cream. Um, I am ordering myself some BB cream the next order that I place because I was very impressed. If 
speaker on, say, hey, so I know you're on here. So we're testing out some, could be new to pharmacy, um, but it's definitely new to me products. Um, if you are jumping on and you are just starting to um, follow me or um, if you're not following me, if you want to follow me, that would be awesome. Um, I try to come on here at least two to three times a week um, just because pharmacy is like amazing and I just love it. You can't beat the prices um, and I get them for half off of what they're advertised for, which is even more awesome. So there's the baby cream, like, and that right there is pretty ugly and you can't even, hard, if I didn't lean my head up, you probably wouldn't even see it. So, that's the BB cream. It's got the blue label. Um, it's like a beauty bomb, and I love it. Love it, love it. Woo! Sorry, guys. Pulled y'all out with the drawer. Sorry. All right, so I'm going to go in with my lighter um, liquid concealer. This is not a new product, but I'm just doing my makeup as I normally would. Um, sometimes I'll put this on a pretty heavy um, but don't really need it to be super heavy today so there we go got my travel paint on this is the full coverage liquid concealer that pharmacy offers sorry I still have my label on there um, this is shade 03 um, which is probably like the most used for contouring um, I like to let it sit for just a few minutes, or not minutes, but just a little bit. Um, this is a new product to me. It is the Pharmacy's Lip Conditioner. It looks like a lipstick tube. I meant to put this on before. If you have something on your lips, like a conditioner or um, the lip plumper, then it, well, I guess I could have used my lip plumper. Hmm. So this is our Lip Winterland set. Um, it's $59.90 if you are customer price and you get six full-size products and this lip conditioner sits in here, but I'll leave it sitting out. So you get two matte liquid lips, two of the Miss Sparkle lip glosses, and the lip plumper. Um, so since we're testing out some new products, let's just go all out. I have never used a lip plumper in my life, but I know that they can be pretty pricey with other companies. Um, so I'm gonna blend out this concealer real quick before it gets too gummy. And I'll just bring it up like to my eyebrow. And I do like to take a little bit of it up. Y'all let me know if my music's too loud. Hey, Candida, how are you? Please tell your mama and daddy I said hey. So, if you are just hopping on for the first time, or maybe the first time in a while, um, I am a beauty influencer with Pharmacy. Um, it is a European-based company from Istanbul, Turkey, and it is relatively new to the US um, we have only been in the US I think for like less than two years um, they're hoping to expand to Canada and Mexico um, by the end of next year and we offer all kinds of products um, from skincare hair care we have nail colors we have a baby line a men's line um, there's even an intimate line. Um, so, they follow the European-based standards, which means they ban 1300, over 1,300 chemicals and ingredients. And the products that they produce are all created right there at Pharma City in Turkey. Um, so, I am doing Test It Out Tuesday. So, this is our lip plumper.
smells a little pepperminty. So um, I have seen results if you use this daily that it plumps your lips and I have been told that if you put this on that it helps keep the foundation off of your lips I and mean, then you don't have that cruddy gummy buildup. Good, how are you? I'm good, Candida. I'm good. Thank you. Please tell them I said hey. Um, just that lip plumper that I just used is like, I'm wanting to say it's like over 20 bucks. I think 22 or 25 something. Um, and that kit is only like right at $60 for six full size products, which is basically $10 a piece. Um, but if you join to be a beauty influencer, you only pay $19.99 and then you instantly can get 50% off, which is amazing. Um, so I do not have a powder from pharmacy yet that is sitting in my cart waiting. So I am using a transparent powder from another brand which I do equally love it. And I'm just going over where I put that concealer. And it helps set your concealer, make sure that it doesn't like crease or fill in your wrinkles. Gives you that nice porcelain finish. Hey, Miss Kayla Fry, how are you? We're testing out some new products. Might be new to pharmacy, but a lot of them are just new to me. Um, so I used the BB cream, which covered really well. Um, I did put the lip conditioner on, which is not new to pharmacy, but um, it's new to me. But I kind of wiped that off a little bit and decided to try the lip plumper. I don't have very big lips. My bottom lip's okay, but my top lip's almost like inexistent. Um, so the lip winter limb kit is so cute. And it's like super affordable. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow primer, which is like everything that you need. Um, it comes in this little glass um, container, and um, I, the best concealer spot treatment I have ever seen is this stuff. Um, but I had my acne got covered pretty well with. Um, the BB cream. So I'm using the um, eyeshadow primer on my eyes and I'm going to use the creamy eyeshadow which I'm not sure if I've ever used it before on a live and I've only used it once or twice and I cannot wait to get some more colors. So this eyeshadow primer will help make your eyeshadow pop. It helps it last longer. Um, it's crazy. Like, and you can totally like cover everything, like everything. I have seen like really bad acne scars be completely covered and you can't tell it. Um, so there's the eyeshadow primer. The creamy eyeshadow comes in like the same little glass container and it's so cute. Um, and this one kind of matches the shirt. I, it says sweater weather even though it's not sweater weather outside um, This is green bean and it is gorgeous. Look at that And it kind of stinks to do it right now because I have nails So it's probably gonna get up and under my nails, but most of the time um, I just do it with my finger and um, That's normally what I see other people do. This is quick. You put it on it does not smear it does not budge It does not crease it will not wipe off until you take it off with like a makeup remover. Y'all, I'm liking this lip plumper. It smells good. All right, so I'm just going to, yeah, it's already under my fingernail. Cool. Hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. Hey, Heather. This is kind of hard to put this on with your finger when you have fingernails that you're not used to having. So I'm using some new products, might be new to pharmacy, might be new to me. Um, but this is the Creamy Eyeshadow in Green Bean. None of my brushes really get down in there good like I want it to, so. And I did bring that up a little bit. We will blend it out with um, some other eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna do some brown. Heather, I need to text you about an appointment for Jordan. 
Um, so with this creamy eyeshadow, I'm just um, dipping my finger in carefully and starting about in the middle of my eye. Where you start your eyeshadow is generally where it's going to be the darkest. Um, and I don't like to have it dark on the inner corner. I like to have it darker on the outer corner. I haven't tried. Oh, the green bean one is the only one that I have, Heather. Um, but I am like the red glaze. I feel like I had red glaze. Maybe I didn't. Maybe that was just a dream. Um, the red glaze, the golden shot, um, the orange pop is sitting in my cart right now. Oh, Lord. Um, the brown sugar. Like, there are so many good fall colors. And, y'all, this is, like, the easiest thing to apply. Like, it's buildable. It pops. It has beautiful pigments. Um, and it doesn't move. And I've taken it up farther than I wanted to, but you know, and I forgot to bring like something in here to wipe my hands on. So I'll be right back. How are you, Heather? Have you had a good Tuesday? All right, so I have some pretty prominent lines going on. So I will definitely add something and blend it out. I'll probably add some highlighter up there. Get that off my fingers. I've got to go and get my nails done. I have an appointment Friday. Going with my girlfriend. Ugh, I got that all up and under my nails. So, if you're catching this live, put me a purple heart or any kind of heart. And then if you're catching this as the replay, um, give me a shoe. Good so far, getting lunch. Ooh, what are you having for lunch today? I'm like eating the same stuff and I'm so over it. Okay, so this is my all-time absolute favorite thing that I think I have from pharmacy. So I'm gonna use it again. This is the Peach Bite Palette. It comes with a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush, and they are in more of a peachy tone, like more of an earth tone. Um, Always blend up and if you feel like um, you need to share this for me today I would greatly appreciate it and then I always bring it up around my hairline and dab a little bit above each eye to give me some definition and some color which that BB cream does not wa wash me out Heather I tried the BB cream the other day and like I'm in love <laughs> hey Erin so you go a little under your chin at an angle and it'll um, slender up your neck a little bit always bring your bronzer down I curled these little pieces I don't know if you guys can see them with that dark dresser but they're just getting in my way right now how are you Erin happy Tuesday all right so that is the bronzer from the peach bite palette this is like 1990 and you get three products um, now I'm gonna give myself just a smidge of blush I might if you're catching this live leave me a heart and if you're watching it later drop me a shoe and if you can share it that would be even better um, so that is the blush which was this color and now I'm gonna do a little bit of the highlighter I don't like a lot but just enough to give you a shimmer. I do like it on the tip of my nose. 
and my top lip. A little bit on the chin, a little bit right here. This is where the sun naturally hits your face. You see that? Gives you a glow, a beautiful glow. And then I am going to take my original brush and blend up and blend that bronzer and blush and highlighter all together. Um, I am using some new products to me or new products to pharmacy. Um, I've used BB cream, I've used some liquid concealer, some transparent powder that's not pharmacy. Um, I used the eyeshadow primer on my eyelids. I've used the creamy eyeshadow in green bean. And now I'm going to use the highlighter from my Peach Bite palette and add a little bit up to underneath my eye brow, which will help tone out some of that line from my green bean creamy eyeshadow. What are you guys up to today? Who has started Christmas shopping? Have you guys started Christmas shopping yet? Because I feel like this November is going to do like October where you're going to blink and it's going to be over. I'm going to add some highlighter to my inner corner because I just feel like that gives your eyes a little something something. Bring that down just a smidge. If you're on, say hey. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. I have a blue. I could do a blue. I've not used it but like one time. Um, so this is our mono eyeshadow. Um, it is called it's number two. Let me see if it says on here. I think it's called like Midnight Smoke, I think. And it's like a blue gray. It's really gorgeous. It's huge. Okay. Um, it's about the size of what you will get in the Peach Bite palette and the Bootyful eyeshadow palette. Um, the other eyeshadows are palettes are a little smaller. Um, but these are like so pigmented. Look how pretty that is. So I'm going to use my color switch. Awesome investment. Amazon. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this blue. And like hug my eye. There's probably some technical term for that. But I'm not a makeup guru. So I couldn't tell you what it is. I would not normally do blue and green on my eye, but not mad about it. Hey, Chelsea. How are you? I hope you're doing good. We are using some pharmacy cosmetics. Um, I used their skincare before I hopped on here, and I am loving everything that I have tried. I'm having to tweak my skincare routine a little bit. Um, I was using the Age Reversist, um, but I just felt like my face was needing a little something else right now, um, which the Age Reversist has helped my forehead so much. So I'm going to blend this out a little bit. Sorry, all my sinuses are kicking my tail. And try to stop your eye shadow brush um, about there, like even. Because it will have fallout and it will get over there. You going to be on the, on the computer? I mean on the phone? Huh? Was there a package delivered? I think that one's my Walmart thing because it just popped up. 
Is it still not raining? It is raining. Not raining. Okie dokie. Chelsea, it has been a long time. Old Bojangle days. Alright, so that was our... Nope, that's my blush. Just kidding. That was our mono eyeshadow. And I'm pretty sure it's called Midnight Smoke. I can't remember. I'm going to need to write on these products because I don't remember. But it's 02. Um, so, I think that's all I'm going to do to my eyes. I think that's good. I'll take that. Everything I made on that truck, I'll go into the yard. That's ridiculous. Jordan is whatever you call it, like reed seeding and throwing out fertilizer in the yard. And I just don't understand all of that. All right, so I added some a little bit more highlighter up there just to kind of blend all that in. That's really pretty. A little bit more there. Okay. So... I'm going to do my eyebrows before I do my eyeliner and my mascara. So I'm going to use my spoolie brush since I've seen you back to Bojangles. Yes, old Bojangles. So I'm just going to use my spoolie brush and kind of brush out my eyebrows. And um, I don't think I've ever taken care of my eyebrows or done anything to them. Um, I'm very blessed that I probably could do a little something something to them. But I don't want to start it because then I know that you never, you can never quit. Um, so I'm just going to brush them out. It gets all the extra product and stuff out of them. When you moisturize your face, make sure that you always put a little bit in your eyebrows so that they're not dry. And I've always done that just because I get really dry right above them and really dry right here. Let me get a swig of water. So, I used the lip plumper before I started. And I don't know if it's doing anything right now for my very first use, but I love the way it makes my lips feel. So, here goes something new, and I'm nervous to try it because I'm afraid I'm going to look like a clown. This is our eyebrow liner um, pencil. And this is like the darkest shade that they have because my eyebrows are pretty dark. And when I did my dark brows, look at this. It's so pretty. When I did my brows really dark for the Beetlejuice look, I like was like su pleasantly surprised that I liked them. So when you're doing your eyebrows, um, start right here like a little bit before your arch. And I'm just gonna do real soft today because I'm kinda scared. Start on the bottom, follow your line. Look how much better that looks. Um, this one always has a little bit more of an arch than this one, so we'll have to doctor this one up. But you start about in the, like, right where your arches start and follow the line on the bottom, go down to the top, fill in in the middle, and then flick up. And this, like, you do not have to press down hard at all. Hello, Angie Miller. How are you? Well, we are trying some new products. New to me, not necessarily new to pharmacy, but look how much better that looks like. First time using an eyebrow pencil. Normally I just go in a little bit and use like some eyeshadow. Um, but I wanted to give this a shot and like that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now I could probably bring this on and extend it a little bit. But I'm not going to go all out today. So when you're doing it. That's so funny what uh, Brandon said about us looking alike. Because I mean I have to agree. I think we do. But I take that as a huge compliment. So, I am literally just like barely touching my skin. And this is transferring beautifully. Look at that. Like that. 
and like this does not move and then go back to the front I'm trying to make sure you guys can see and flick up the way that your hair grows Boom. Look at those brows, y'all. Whoa. Angie, do you use pharmacy? I know it is like taken off tremendously here in Taylorsville. Um, so this is the eyebrow pencil. Um, this is the darkest shade. And I think these are only like, um, let me see. I can't think off the top of my head. I know the lip liners are only like six something. Now I'm gonna take my spoolie brush and go back and just kind of brush them out to make sure everything's drugged together. Look at that, I can't get over that. And I probably, you do, oh awesome. I wasn't sure if it was up around your neck of the woods or not. Um, it has like taken off so quick, so fast. Look at those brows, woo They're already a little darker than normal. But once I add my eyeliner and stuff, it'll be all right. Um, these are only 1090, 1090. And you, I can get these for like 545. That's crazy, and it's gonna last you like forever. I'm gonna have to order me a sharpener because I don't even own one. All right, so there's my brows. I've never been one to push products, but this stuff is the bomb. Girl, I really thought that I was just gonna buy, I was just gonna pay my $19.99 and join and use this for a couple of weeks to see. No, I decided, I was like, huh, heck no. Like, this is too good to be true. Like, my skin is clear, it's soft. I mean, I do have an occasional breakout because Mother Nature, you know, she's like, <clears throat> um, but like, I couldn't believe it. Like, couldn't believe it. All right, so I used the creamy eyeshadow in Green Bean. Um, it's gorgeous. It's a really pretty green. It matches my shirt that says sweater weather, even though it's 70 degrees outside. And then I used the mono eyeshadow in, I think it's called Midnight Smoke. Um, if you're just hopping on, drop me a heart emoji. And if you catch this later, leave me a shoe. And if you, we sell it at the salon. Oh, that's so good. I know a lot of girls that are also hairstylists too, and they do really well. All right, um, let's see. I'm going, since I used that blue on my eyes, it's been a hot minute since I've used this. This is a newer product. I think this was just released in October. This is the dark blue um, ink liner. They have like a brighter blue. There's a green, which is sitting in my cart. Um, there's the coffee that I ordered last time, which I love. There's black, um, but the, they released four colors, the bright blue, dark blue, green, and the brown um, in October. And I'm gonna use the blue because I, I've got the green and then that midnight smoke and then I've used highlighter. And that's all that's on my eyes. And y'all, like, I'm gonna show you. This creamy eyeshadow. Will not budge, okay? Put some on there. Say it's on there, okay? I'm gonna leave it just to let it dry down. It does not take but just a few seconds. And then I'll show you guys it does not budge, okay? So I'm still, I'm getting better with my wings. We'll see how today goes. Hello, Stephanie Propes. Look at that. Glides on like melted butter. And I do bring a little bit down and kind of blend it. But I'm telling you, this stuff I, was, I used my brown for my freckle look when I was Velma for Halloween. 
it dries down in like 0.2 seconds. So you better put it on and wipe it off if you don't like it because if not, you're gonna have to redo your whole eye look because you're gonna have to use some makeup remover. Listening to Pentatonix Radio, y'all. They're my jam. Angie, if you're still watching, please tell Aunt Sue I said hey, and I miss her and love her. This eye's not doing as good. My eye's so twitchy. They have a lighter blue in that. Yes, Stephanie, they have, I think it's called bright blue, I think. And then this is the dark blue because I was like, I have never wore anything except black eyeliner. And I did not want, I was like, uh, blue is not for me. You know what? I can't even tell you last time I've wore black eyeliner now. Because now all I wear is blue and brown. It might just be called blue, but I, let me see. I like having my computer right here um, playing music because then I can just type in. There we go. That looks better. I have one more vintage Christmas tree to put up on my piano. And I am done with my decorating except our tree, which we won't get until the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Have you guys decorated yet? Look at that, that just helps so much. Like, gosh, it's gorgeous. Add some more over on this side now. I don't know why my eyes are so twitchy. Like, I wear contacts daily. All right, so here is the creamy eyeshadow. Like, it's not going anywhere. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. What time is it? Okay. Um, let's see. It's called blue, and then there's dark blue, which is what I ordered. And then there's green and coffee, and then they have the black. They've always had the black, but they released all four of those new colors um, in October. So I'm going to try on my mascara what I did the other day. This is our double lash extend, and anybody that has watched me before knows this is my all-time absolute favorite. Um, it is new. It was just released in October. You take the very tip off to use first for the lengthening portion. Um... I have another order um, that I placed for a customer, but I also added on some things for myself. Um, and for some reason, I literally ordered them the same day as I ordered my own order because I had a lot more to order, so I ordered it under my name. So that I could get my half off. Um... And for some reason, it shipped DSL or DHL, whatever it is. And my other stuff came. I don't even remember. Friday. Look at the difference, y'all. Like. Um, but the other one is not here yet. It said there was a hold up like, um, at the place in Florida, which is where they ship stuff from for the United States. Okay. So that is just the lengthening part of 
the double lash, which I could totally get by with. I think I've got a hair. Much better. Um, so, if I was going anywhere, I'd just go ahead and put some falsies on, but I don't think I'm going to. So that's just the lengthening part. Um, and then normally you do from the pink part as well, but I'm gonna do what I did yesterday. And I used the 3D on top. Um, this is a really full wand and it's got lots of different little bristles on there. I just have to say that double lash is my absolute favorite. Like, It just does all the things for my eyes. The 3D is probably my third favorite, I would say. And the Zen is my second favorite. The optimal style is in my cart. Oh, cool. My computer just exited out of everything. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye. Sorry, y'all, I'm reading what Chelsea said. Oh, thank you, Chelsea. You're so sweet. You are beautiful, too, inside and out, and you know that. Um, so that is the lengthening portion of the double lash, and then the 3D is on top of that. Um, Chelsea, the um, I did a live... Sunday, I believe it was, um, talking about the opportunity to join the pharmacy company. Um, if you want to go back and watch that, you're more than welcome to. Um, it's on my page. It shouldn't be too far down because it was just on Sunday. Um, but you get a cute little welcome box and it has um, a couple little gift bags. It has um, like five catalogs and then you get sample products of different stuff. So I got several strips that had four little packs and it would be like all four tones of like the CC cream and all four tones uh, or um, four tones of like the tinted Be Fit moisturizer. Um, so it just depends what samples you get. It depends what they have in stock there in like the warehouse. Um, I did get these adorable little um, lipstick samples. Hey Kristen, hey Morgan, happy Tuesday. We're using some new to me products from pharmacy, um, not necessarily brand new products from pharmacy, but some of them were just released. I used the dark blue eyeliner, um, which just um, released in October, the double lash extend mascara that just released. Um, I've used lots of different products. So if you're just hopping on, go back and watch it after it um, post if you're interested to see um, how I did things today. But Chelsea, you get um, bunches of different little samples um, for like $19.99. And then there's also more kits as well um, that come with a lot more products as well as like full size products. Um, so if you're interested, I can send you some messages on Messenger and send you some pictures um, to show you like the different stuff that you can get inside those. And then there's also like your available to get different things that customers are not um, accessible to. Okay, so the next thing that I've got that is a new to me product is I've never, ever, 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 ever lined my lips and this is our lip liner. This is number 219. It's a gorgeous fall color. These are only like six something. Um, oops. Trying to pull it back up. So here goes. We'll see how this goes. I might look atrocious.
Oh Lord. I'm gonna get up here out of. Let me see if you guys can see. So crooked. So this is a learning process, y'all. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sally. My eyes like get all dry after being up close enough. So that is just a lip liner. But I am so OCD. Hey, Chad. What's up? We're doing makeup. All right, so that is just a lip liner, y'all. Like, what in the world? That's gorgeous. That's two nineteen, and all I used was the lip plumper earlier. Um, look at that. That is so dang pretty. <laughs> this is right up your alley, isn't it, Chad? You're learning how to do some contouring and some lip lining and some matte liquid lips. Okay, um, so. This is Love Secret, and I don't think I've used it yet, or I think I just swatched it the other night when I was doing a skincare live. Y'all, I'm obsessed with that color. Dork. You're a dork. <laughs> so, this is our matte liquid lips. These are only $11.90 at full price. Um, and I've always heard to line your lips when you're using a lip stain. Um because it will bleed and tip of the day i probably could have overlined a little bit just to give myself a little bit more lip but i've never done that and i don't want to do it on the camera for the first time if you're on say hey drop me a heart emoji if you're watching live drop me a shoe emoji if you are watching the replay Look at that love secret, y'all. <laughs> you are a mess. I got some on my teeth. Let some of your beautiful friends on here know that you have a good looking stepbrother and is very, very single. Well, ladies, there you go, Mr. Chad Wills. There we go. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm just going to tell you. Love Secret. I have been itching and dying to get this. So, to recap, BB cream, some concealer. Come on, Pandora. What's your deal? Um, some transparent powder, creamy eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow primer, uh, the mono eyeshadow, some highlighter, some bronzer, and blush out of the Peach Bite palette, which is gorgeous. Um, the ink liner in dark blue. Uh, I used the lengthening, which is the first part of the double lash, and then did the 3D on top of that. I used 219 lip liner and Love Secret lip matte liquid lip on top and I am in love like I think this is one of my favorite looks I've ever done 
It's gorgeous. So if you have any questions or if you are interested in any of the products, just let me know. Message me. Um, I hope you guys have a good Tuesday. Face looking good. Hair looking a hot mess. Um, so I'll be back on in a couple of days. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. Thanks for hopping on with me. Drop me a shoe if you watch this replay. If that red button's not up there in the corner. And if you're watching it now, drop me a heart, please. Alright, thanks. Bye.